What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Uh, the gameplay you guys see today is The Last of Us Remastered for the PlayStation 4. One of my favorite games right now. I'm having tons of fun in this game. I'm, I'm actually becoming more confident. I'm, I'm taking more chances and it's paying off. I'm looking for more people to play this game with. So if you guys have a PS4, uh, send me a, a friend invite. Send me a game invite so I can join and we can kick some butt together. But uh, the game is a phenomenal game. 60 frames per second. I'm loving it and uh, I don't see myself stopping any at any time in the near future I wanted this video to be kind of an update I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about Gamescom 2014 and give you guys some updates on what's been going on with the beastly gamer okay uh, I've had a few subscribers try to contact me through the messaging uh, of my YouTube videos and I have not been able to to uh, comment back I want to let you guys know why uh, I've been banned not banned but I've been temporarily disabled uh, by Google I got a message on my Google Plus account saying that uh, my account has been flagged for spam and uh, I actually contacted some of the message boards uh, about Google Plus and they informed me that it was because I was sharing videos and too quick too quickly of succession and uh, their algorithm picked it up as me spamming it so lesson learned they gave me two weeks of uh, you know vacation time from from actually commenting but I want to let you guys know that I am here I do see your videos I have to sometimes log into my other account just to comment on things I absolutely must but uh, PGR 91 games one of my subscribers just asked me how I was doing I'm doing great man I'm uh, enjoying my life I'm surrounded by positivity surrounded by video games uh, playing stuff. I've been playing my PS Plus stuff. I'm uh, really enjoying Fez on the PS Vita. I'm enjoying uh, Dragon's Crown on the Vita. And that little system is great. And, and the way it's going now, if you play your cards right, pretty soon you'll own every Vita game because it seems like the games have come to a trickle. You get two free games every month, so who knows? You might have every Vita game one day. But um, I want to talk to you guys today about Gamescom 2014. Gamecom, Gamescom is going on right now over in Germany and uh, there are a lot of video games uh, being played uh, trailers and news and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Sony's uh, video game releases now I am going to do Microsoft as well but I just don't have enough time in this video to do it and being that I'm such a Sony fan I'm, I'm big into Sony I wanted to uh, you know cover the console that is my choice first before I go to the other and I want to talk to you guys about some of the games that I've been seeing and the things I'm kind of excited about uh, today I watched the Advanced Warfare, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer gameplay. Uh, you know, it was unedited. It was just full-fledged gameplay, fast and furious, and uh, it was very exciting to watch. Uh, these characters move around really fast. You got double jumps. You don't have parkour, but you got some similar gameplay. I must say, very similar to Titanfall. I could not help but uh, harken back to images of Titanfall watching uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now I know they're both different games and maybe Call of Duty is learning from Titanfall. I don't think that's a, a bad game to learn from to uh, improve your skill set with. Uh, Titanfall is a great game and a lot of my friends play it. I've never played Titanfall but I've seen tons of it like a lot of you guys. And uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looks a lot like it, so I guess we'll be able to judge just how similar it is once the game's released. It'll be coming to the PS4 and the Xbox One concurrently, and Xbox One will get the DLC early, just like they do uh, with the Call of Duty Ghost. So that's what I thought about Advanced Warfare. It looked fast, it looked furious, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, big news, PlayStation 4 sold 10 million units. That's not shipped, that's actually sold. People own 10 million units and if you keep in mind the PS4 has only been in circulation for 9 months and this makes the PlayStation 4 set to be the fastest selling home console of all time. And that's a big deal when you think about consoles like uh, the PlayStation 2. You think about things like uh, like the Wii. The PS4 is up there with them and surpassing them for the same period of time. So that's a bravo for Sony. They're doing very well as far as moving these consoles. Uh, some big news that dropped is that uh, that uh, the rise of the Tomb Raider will be an Xbox One exclusive. I actually made a video about that. Uh, come to find out, it's PR speak, uh, public, public relations is a, a very deceiving thing. And so uh, the way it was worded was it would, it, it would be an Xbox One or an Xbox exclusive only and that is not entirely true. It's a timed exclusive so the Rise of the Tomb Raider will probably, I'd say 99% chance, come to the PS4 uh, and uh, it'll also probably come to the PC. It's just a waiting game. Uh, 
I think that it's a very smart strategy. I love console wars. I wish every war was just a console war instead of real wars and people getting killed and stuff like that. But um, I think console wars, wars are a very exciting thing to witness. To me, the biggest console war ever was Super Nintendo and Genesis. I actually got to be there and watch the sparks fly. And it seems like Sony and Microsoft are really going back to that. You really feel like they're trading blows, and that's what I like to see. That's what you guys should like to see because it makes games better for all of us. You see uh, these developers working extra hard for the console of their choice. Um, and so, uh, you know, Microsoft, Sony, they're paying these developers a, a, a heap ton of money to get exclusivity, and uh, it's helping out their, their install base. So it's smart. Uh, it's a smart business strategy. I don't have anything bad to say about you know exclusivity. Destiny's coming to the PS4 for I mean well the DLC is coming to the PS4 and Call of Duty's going to the Xbox One and so uh, more than likely Rise of Tomb Raider will come to the Xbox One first and uh, the Xbox console the 360 and then everybody will wait. But I think that's smart business. Um, another story that I, well actually a game it's a video I did. Uh, PT it stands for Playable Teaser. It was revealed at Gamescom 2014 uh, by Sony, and it was available for immediate download. That's right, so I actually got a chance to play this game, and I actually have a video on it. You guys, after you get done with this, you know, killer gameplay, make sure you go check out the last video I did, uh, and it's about PT, this playable teaser. This teaser is actually the, a teaser for the upcoming Silent Hill game, uh, helmed by Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima and uh, Guillermo del Toro, the uh, famous uh, director who's known for many films. So this game has a lot of muscle behind it. I gotta say that watching this game and playing this game, I felt like it was I was actually in it. Very seldom do I play a game that looks so photorealistic. The graphics of this game really reminded me of The Order 1886, but it seemed like I was just in a regular place, and uh, I'm really excited about that game. Another game that I saw today was Dead Island 2, which looks amazing. I don't know much more about it other than the fact that it's Dead Island 2. One thing that I saw I didn't like too much was the fact that you're able to craft items kind of like you can uh, in Dead Rising. It's, it seems like they're trying to compete against Dead Rising and uh, let you make outlandish weapons. To me, I'd rather have a zombie game where you have more realistic weapons, machetes, revolvers, crowbars, things like that, rather than running around with a lawnmower in your hand like you do and like they did in the movie Dead Alive. So that wasn't that exciting for me. The Witcher 3, on the other hand, I watched that uh, extended gameplay trailer today. The Witcher 3 is one of the best looking games I've seen at Gamescom. Uh, it looks phenomenal, man. Uh, and that's the kind of game that I like. I'm really big into games like Skyrim and Fallout, uh, the whole Elder Scrolls anthology I love. And so The Witcher, uh, I never had a chance to play one or two because they were PC-centric games, and I'm not really a PC gamer. But knowing this is coming to consoles, it, it's got my blood ready. You know, it's rushing. I watched some really incredible gameplay today of uh, live-action fighting going on and, uh, you know, watching character models and listening to voice work. Uh, and that game looks phenomenal. Bloodborne is another game that looks to uh, quench the thirst of people who uh, are really into games like Demon Souls or Dark Souls. It's made... Uh, from from software is actually making it and they're the same developers of those games and so Bloodborne is like the spiritual spiritual successor to those games it looks great it looks a lot faster and that's really what a lot of people were complaining about in the first place I saw some Alien Isolation extended gameplay today and let me say this game looks fantastic it seems like they captured the whole essence of the Alien, Alien 2, Alien 1 I'd probably say 1 more so than 2 uh, uh, Persona. It just feels very foreboding and scary in the way you move around. I think that game is going to be a big deal. More PlayStation news came out uh, yesterday. DayZ is coming to the PS4. Uh, this is big news because DayZ is probably the reason I, I upgraded and got a new PC. I'm really into zombies. Now, the fact this game is coming to the PS4 will probably. Uh, It'll totally eliminate my PC hunger to play the game, but at the same time, we got H1Z1 coming to the PS4, so I'm wondering who's going to step on whose toes, and if DayZ comes to the PS4 and has any of the issues it has now, there'll probably be a lot of people going to H1Z1. Hellblade is coming to the PlayStation first. Uh, Hellblade is made by the same developer of Heavenly Sword, and this game looks very similar to Heavenly Sword. When I say very similar, the, the main character looks like Nariko, uh, I forget her name, Naiko, the main character from Heavenly Sword's sister. So she looks very similar, and her sword is the Hell Blade. So it's Heavenly Sword, Hell Blade. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, 
but it seems like those two universes are somehow tied together. So you guys, let me know what you think about that. And then again, every video that I'm talking about, it will be a, be a link in the description for you guys to check it out yourself. Uh, this is a kind of a downer for me. Tearaway Unfolded will be coming to the PS4, which is a rehash of Tearaway for the Vita. And I do understand that Sony wants to, you know, draw a new audience, but I still feel like they should do something for their old Sony supporters. We've been supporting Sony from the beginning. I think they should stop doing games like this. And the next game, Journey. A remake for the PS4. I think they need to focus more on new games instead of rehashing every PS3 or Vita game on the PS4. Now don't for a second think that I don't like uh, Tearaway or Journey. I think those games are great but the thing is at the same time you're, you're rehashing these old games for people who may have come from the Xbox 360, you should be focusing on the people who have been there since the start. Building the Sony community, building PSN, and constantly be trying to push the envelope, making something new for those gamers. Uh, the last game I want to talk about is called Until Dawn, and this was uh, originally announced as a PS3 game, and uh, now it's been confirmed as a PS4 exclusive. Until Dawn is kind of a horror movie. It's like uh, the old school horror movies like Scream. Uh, it even reminds me of the movie The Strangers. Uh, eight friends go out to um, this this cabin uh, on, a, on a mountain and they have a good time. They're partying, doing what teens do. And then it looks like hell breaks loose and people are getting killed and murdered. And uh, it might be kind of a murder mystery. Hayden Pintier is actually in this game and uh, she's the star of the game so if you like heroes I, I like the first season of heroes if you're big on heroes you might enjoy this this game actually uses the kills on Shadowfall engine so it does look phenomenal uh, I think Sony did pretty good here there's a lot of games going on and Gamescom is just it keeps giving us more news it's exciting stuff you guys I want to thank you all for liking these videos and supporting me supporting this channel it means a lot to me every time I see a comment, every time I see a like. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the last video I did. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.